So the next thing that happened on Friday night SmackDown, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Braun Strowman versus Ricochet one-on-one -on -one in the semifinals of the World Cup tournament. And it was a pretty good match. Uh, Braun Strowman was just tearing apart Ricochet. Ricochet was trying to come back a few times in this match. Like, he almost got counted out and stuff. But then we get to the ending where Strowman tosses Ricochet around across the ring. And he turns him over about to punch him in the chest. But then as soon as he was about to do that... He notices the Intercontinental Champion Gunther making his way down to the ring. And then all of a sudden, we see Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanna Vinci getting up on the apron. Strowman's trying to knock them off the apron, but they quickly jumped off. And while he was distracted by them, Ricochet comes up, hitting the Crucifix pin onto Strowman, pinning him for the 1, 2, 3. So yeah, Ricochet defeated Braun Strowman tonight in the 1-on-1 -on -one match. And he advances to the finals against Santos Escobar next week. In the World Cup tournament. That's what happened. Pretty good match. But then, after the match ended, we see Imperium attacking Braun Strowman after the match, beating him down and everything. Ricochet was walking up the ramp, but then he looks and he's like thinking if he wants to go and save him. But then he decides to go run down and save him. He runs down and then he starts fighting with him, but he gets beat down as well because of the numbers. You know, they beat him down. Uh, Gunther got Kaiser and Benji to pick him up and he hits the chop on them on to Ricochet but then he was trying to get them to pick up Braun Strowman but Braun Strowman knocks the hell out of both of them and Gunther quickly runs off from Strowman because Strowman was standing tall and then he gives pretty much respect to Ricochet but yeah uh, that's what happened there Braun Strowman lost to a flippy floppy guy so if you get the term there you go but yeah uh, that's what happened there pretty good match though I'll give that match uh, two stars, that's why I'll give it, it was a pretty good one, but yeah, that's what happened there, and then after the match ended, we see Sami Zayn come walking up backstage about to go into the Bloodlines locker room, Kevin Owens comes up talking to him, and he goes like, look, I want to tell you something, now, I know you for so many years, I'm just going to tell you, eventually Roman's going to turn on you, you see what he does to his own family, so you know, he's going to do the same thing to you, but I'm just saying, be careful, if I was you, I'll do something about it before they do something about it. So, yeah, that's what he was saying. Sammy Zayn was like, please go over somewhere. Kevin Owens walks away, and, J and Jay Uso was listening to the whole thing. And then, as soon as Sammy was about to open up the door, Jay Uso comes walking out. He looks at Sammy and goes, like, So, you've been talking to somebody out here? And Sammy was like, No, I haven't talked to nobody. And Jay Uso was like, Okay. And Sammy was like, Is everybody in the locker room? And he goes, like, Yeah, go ahead. And Sammy walks in there, and Jay Uso looks frustrated. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff, though, with the tensions with Sami Zayn and Jey Uso, at least. But yeah, still to come later on tonight, we will see Drew McIntyre and Sheamus versus the Usos in a tag team match later on tonight on SmackDown, and many more stuff to come. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until then.